I've been shopping for some fabrics online and they have arrived. They are all woven, lightweight, silks, crepes, satins, all the silky stuff that I love to sew. Sneak peek, I'll be showing you all the fabric and pattern pairings. Super fun video coming up, so stay tuned. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing and in this episode I have a lot of fun fabric to share with you I think probably a lot of you have been shopping online more than you did in the past or maybe that's the normal way that you shop Shopping online for fabric is not the norm for me. I like the in-person experience. All the senses tuned into the fabrics and the colors and the feels and everything. That's how I like to shop for fabric in real life shops. <laughs> well, I can't do that. I can't do that. And really, I don't really see it being a possibility for a very, very long time still. Fortunately, I have found some online shops here in this country in Brazil that have really nice fabrics. The prices are reasonable, the websites are really pretty, it's very easy to see the product, lots of good quality pictures and descriptions of the fabrics. So I have felt pretty confident to go ahead and buy some fabrics. I'm very excited about them. A few days ago I shared my shopping experience with the ladies that joined me on Patreon. So we went shopping together there. They have already seen most of the fabrics I'm going to share with you. I've added a few more that have arrived in another order and I'll be choosing patterns that I think would be super suitable for these types of fabrics. They are all very lightweight wovens. You'll see here some crepe georgettes, chiffons, silky satins. And I have some 100% silks as well. So they're all very light, very breezy, soft, <laughs> slippery stuff. But there's no need to fear. I have already a video on the channel that is all about how to prepare these fabrics to cut out, to sew, full of practical tips. If you have missed this video, this is how the thumbnail looks. And you can have a look there, see if you can get excited to sew up fabrics that are this type. Garments turn out super beautiful all the time. The first one I'll show you is a crepe chiffon. This is wine color. It's looking more dark red on the screen, but I would say it's a burgundy color. It's not red at all like you're seeing it. And the interesting thing about this is that it has some texture on it. And I know it will be very hard for me to show that. There are little designs there on the fabric. I, I pretty much think no one will see that but me but it is so pretty and it's so light and flowy, super airy fabric, extremely soft. It's very soft. There's no harshness to this fabric at all. What I've thought would make a great style for this is the Jules Woven Tunic from Style Arc. Now I got this pattern as a freebie months and months ago, maybe even years ago. I'm not quite sure, maybe in 2018. And I had forgotten that I had it, but recently Natida from So Natural Dane, she recreated um, some ready to wear styles that she liked and she chose that pattern. And when she posted it on Instagram, I immediately remembered, oh, I have that. And it's such a pretty design. That asymmetry there on the front, the bodice is not a straight bodice. And then the gathers come from that. That is the perfect design for a really floaty, airy fabric like that. I really like Natita's version, very pretty. I will link in the description box her video about it if you want to see more about that pattern. But I definitely think you can make that pattern with these types of fabrics. Just taking a few precautions, but totally possible. And I can just see myself wearing that style in this fabric. Now the next one is exactly the same as the one I've just shown you. And maybe like that, you can see, there you can see. You can see it's got some um, texture on it. And this is exactly the same that the previous one would have been, but I decided to open it all up and being she, you can't see it, but it's like that and it's so pretty. And this is like, um, they said it was a military green crepe chiffon, super soft, super lovely. And I have chosen the perfect tunic from Wardrobe by Me. Uh, it is a nice loose fitting design. I think all these fabrics need designs that are loose fitting. You don't want anything fitted to the body where there will be stress on any of the seams. So the perfect tunic looks really good. It's got a couple of darts on the, on the bust on the side. And then that placket, very interesting, a little mandarin collar. I like the version with the simple sleeves that you can fold up with a tab. I think that's more weather friendly for me so I can just pull them up when I want to. 
super lovely and you can do something like that with this type of fabric for sure just making sure that the placket and the collar pieces are interfaced nicely and stabilized it's totally doable and i can just imagine that together that pattern with this fabric the next one i have is 100 percent silk and i'm going to warn you there's a little bit of a color over overload coming look at this so yeah <laughs> this i i thought about it for a while it is super bright it does sort of look a bit christmasy you know because it's red and green tropical leaves there on the red the color that you're seeing on screen is actually the color of the red I, I don't see the camera distorting it but the flow and the drape of this silk is so beautiful it's 100 percent silk and what i would do with this and i told the ladies on patreon because it's so loud and so bold i wouldn't want to make like a full dress or a sort of larger garment that covers a large part of the body i mean i don't want to stand out that much so <laughs> I always thought a nice top would be okay with this and I can just pair it with something solid down on the bottom, you know. I was thinking of the Chiripo top from Itch to Stitch. This is a pattern that was released during 2018, I believe. There was a reason why I couldn't test the pattern at the time, I can't remember, but I always knew I wanted to visit the pattern with a nice floaty fabric. And that yoke area on the top um, that covers the arm side and the front of the, of the body, as you can see there, I would like to do that with a solid fabric. I am sure I can find matching green or red, probably red, I think, linen to do that with that. And then to have this be the rest of the top, you know, the gathering and all that on the, on the top. So I think I would surely like to make that style, just a nice floaty top with those gathers with silk, totally doable. I never wanna do gathers with fabrics that don't drape nicely or that have more body or are like thicker, like heavier weight. But this is just perfect and I really like it. I think it'll be, um, it'll be uh, a top to like see from far away maybe. <laughs> or like if you want to meet a friend, just say, you know, I'm the one with the red and the green top, they'll find you. The next one I have to show is also 100% silk and this is very lightweight, I'm telling you. It is completely, like this is a silk chiffon and I'll show it to you without opening it all so maybe you can see the print. It's black and it's got some white designs on there but if I open it up it's so transparent, it's so lightweight and oh it just feels so nice you wouldn't even know how this feels. Oh, it's, it's, it's just a delight you know to have something like this on your skin it's just beautiful and I would like to make the Sile blouse from Wardrobe by Me and I like that little mandarin collar. You can do that collar with these types of fabrics, just interfacing it, you know, carefully. Little gathers here on the neckline coming from that collar. Drop shoulder, relaxed feet, sleeves. I would like to do the short sleeve with a little cuff folding up. Relaxed feet all over the body. Perfect for a style like this. It is completely transparent. Nothing a little cami underneath can't fix. And oh, I'm, I'm really excited about making that pattern with this fabric. I can already see it in my head. The next one I have here is also a silk, 100% silk crepe. Um, gorgeous design. Now it's black and white, which is very classic. You can see there, it's very pretty. It's very flowy. It's just amazing. It feels amazing on the skin. It feels really cool and also is transparent. <laughs> <laughs> but not as, trans not as transparent as the others. I would say this is a little bit heavier weight than the one I've just shown you. But oh my gosh, it's so nice. And you know, from far away, it might look like it's a hound's tooth or something like that. But actually, there are little foxes there. They're non-directional, they have tails. Anyway, I'm not into novelty prints at all. Like if this was um, a larger print, like big foxes, I would not have gotten this. But if you don't mention the little foxes to anyone, you can't see them. It just looks like a really nice black and white fabric, right? Nice silk. <laughs> so I love that. For some of these designs, the fabrics are so precious and so delicate. I don't really want to be making huge experiments. And I would like to make something I have already made that is already a, a tried and true pattern. I already know fits me. And I have made many Melrose tops from each to stitch. 
I've made four. I've made them in chiffon, in silk, in crepe. I've made them in several fabrics. But this pattern also has a dress version that I've never made before. I don't know why, just because I'm silly. I think this fabric being so floaty with that elastic casing would just look and feel super comfortable. It is a loose type style that these fabrics require, but because they're so light, they're not voluminous. So you get the best of both worlds. You get a loose item that has shaping, that has bust darts and cup sizes, gonna fit well, but it's gonna be really airy and loose with this type of material. Ah, I love that. I can't wait to make that. I think the next one I have here is the heaviest of all of these fabrics. It is a crepe, but it's a bubble crepe and it's black and white. I, I do like black and white stuff. I always have. I just think it's so classic. Um, maybe because my mom used to wear a lot of that when I was growing up. I don't know, but I love these designs. Paisley, love that. It is quite drapey even though it is heavier. Like, I don't know if you can notice. I think this could be a bottom weight fabric depending on the style. As soon as I felt how it was in my hands, I knew what it had to be. Because it's heavier weight, it has absolutely no stretch. I think it would be appropriate for the Oya dress from each to stitch. It's a beautiful pattern that has princess seams, these really wide, wide straps that cover everything up here on the top. And I already made a muslin for it, so I have made all the changes I need for the fit. And I know I'm just ready to go. I've just been like waiting to be inspired by a fabric. And I didn't test this pattern last year because I couldn't find any grommets. I couldn't find them like to put the grommets here where you put the little tie. I have them now and I would need to change some things in construction to make this fabric work, probably interface some of the pieces entirely. And um, I believe this dress is fully lined, which makes it even better. I mean, this fabric plus the lining, it'll be perfect. I can't wait to have that beautiful dress. Although I would say for the Oya dress, a more structured woven would be like an easier option, a nice linen, even like a heavier cotton would be better than a crepe. But this crepe is not lightweight and I think I can pull it off. The next one I have here is a polyester crepe. It is very soft, there's no harsh anything on here. It's very soft on the skin, it feels cold on the skin. It drapes amazingly and it has this print, like that. Look, I don't know if this is zebra or it's just a print like that, but I love the combination of greys and white and black there. I think it's beautiful, love it. And I think I splurged and got like two and a half meters of this fabric, which is an insane amount of fabric. I would never buy that much amount. But it's because I know what I want to make with it. And I made just a few weeks ago the Shemaina's top from Itch to Stitch. I made one in a satin and another one in chiffon. And when I was finishing that project, I already adapted the pattern for it to be a dress. <laughs> I added paper and lengthened it at the sides and curved the hem. Like I have the pattern ready to go. But because the pieces were so wide, because of the pleats that are included in the pattern, they don't fit into one length. So I need two lengths of fabric for that. And hence, I got this amount of fabric for it. I'm very excited about having that in a dress. I really like that. I think I would make a few changes. I would probably make the neckline lower, which just means I would need to adapt the placket piece a little bit, but it's not a hard thing to change. And then I'll just be set to go to make that and have a really nice dress because I really like that style and the placket is really fun to sew as well. The next two I have to share with you are solids, crepe georgettes. And I have been dreaming of a navy blue blouse for a long time. I always knew I wanted light fabric, very nice and drapey. It is looking like it is. It is a navy, but not the darkest of navy. I would say it's like a really dark blue and I love these blue. I like blue on my skin. I think I love it as much as I love red. And I don't have any long sleeve blouse. So I've chosen one from Style Arc that has been intriguing me for months since I got the, the pattern. And you know, uh, Style Arc has these instructions that you have to figure out by yourself a little bit with these diagrams. And I have been looking at them and I already know how this is done in my head. It's really cool and it's a good challenge to the brain, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> I've chosen the Rosemary blouse from Style Arc. 
It needs to be done in a lightweight drapey fabric. It's got this crossover drapey business here on the neckline that I find so beautiful. And I've always wanted to make a style like that. And I actually think I have enough fabric for it. So <laughs> I'm really excited to do that. And I have paired a solid to that so that all this business at the neckline really shows. Otherwise, you know, um, if I just choose a print, you won't really see it that much. And then all that work of deciphering how it goes, it won't be shining that much. So yeah, little designs like that, I think look really nice in uh, solids, although it is very hard for me to actually grab these from the stash and sew the solids. <laughs> I'm always drawn to the prints. The sun like comes through the trees and it's like hitting my eyes. Sometimes so I had to change position. The next one is the same type of crepe Georgette, but in a dark brown. Now I had chosen red, but the shop that I bought it in, they gave me a call and said, oh, we ran out of red, you know, do you want another color? <laughs> and that is so disheartening because I was really set on having a red one, but oh well. I settled for brown. Brown is also a color that can go with everything. And it's just a typical brown, dark brown crepe georgette. It is, it is she, but it's not the sheerest of she's, <laughs> like, you know. And I like working with these. I find them not as difficult as chiffon or some just lighter crepes. And I like the color. I think it would go with a lot of things. So I've decided to make the Harrison shirt from Cashmerette. I have made this in the past in a navy blue crepe. And I made it entirely as a shirt, you know, with a collar, with a button band. I made it completely. And I use it like a little light jacket. It's very, very pretty. It's got double princess seams. I have already adjusted it to fit me. So I don't have to worry about that. I just have to worry about sewing it, <laughs> like basting and all that stuff that I do. So the guesswork of, of the fit is out of the picture because it already fits me. And I would love to have a little lightweight thing, like a little layer jacket type shirt that I can wear open or that I can wear closed on its own. Um, but I think this would be perfect. I love having really, really light layering pieces because I like the look of layering. Um, but my weather sometimes doesn't allow me to do that with fabrics that are heavier. So I abuse on these lightweight crepes and chiffons to layer on top. The next one is a very, very nice crepe and it's floral and it's just beautiful. And as soon as I saw it, I knew what it had to be or what I want it to be. And the colors. Oh my gosh, I can't even. It's just so pretty. I usually choose backgrounds that are darker. This time the background of this fabric is lighter color. It, it's not that the background is white, but there is quite a lot of white in there. And then yellows and oranges and greens and blues. I just love this so much. And it's so, so soft. This one isn't sheer. It is quite opaque, I would say. Like I could wear this on its own. Or if I just want another layer, like for comfort, I would wear a beige colored slip that I have underneath. And I've had the Mississippi dress from Soul House 7 for over a year already. And I like those design lines, that V-neck line, those diagonal lines. It's just got really cool features there. And it does seem to be really appropriate for this because it does look like it's a loose fitting style. I love it. Even the product picture there, you can see it against the light that it's made with sheer things. Uh, very lightweight things so I really like it for this fabric and I think it would be a fun project. The next one is a chiffon, crepe chiffon. It's so 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 beautiful. Well I say they're beautiful, they're beautiful for me. Maybe you're screaming at me saying oh that's so ugly Karina but you know everyone has their own um, preference in prints. Uh, this is really nice. It's red mainly. It's got some green, it's got some purple, some white. When you open this, there are subtle stripes going down. So you can see some areas of the fabric are more she and others are opaque. And there is a slight sheen to it there. <laughs> so this area is less transparent than this area there and it's all in the same fabric. Oh my gosh, I can't even with this one. And on the website, they had different colorways. They had a pink one, very like the same as this, but with pink colors. I might just go ahead and go and get that one too. I just wanted to feel it first, like if I really liked it. <laughs> and they seem to have a good stock of that one. I think I will go ahead and get the pink one for sure. 
but I have a project for this and that is the Cadence dress from Love Notions. The Cadence dress, I've made it last year before. I made one for myself and one for my mum. It's a very simple style for wovens that fits really well, has bust darts, has a nice neckline, the sleeve fits really well. So I don't need to worry about the fitting that I'm not guessing that it's gonna fit me. I know it's going to fit me because I've already made it. So I can concentrate all my efforts into manipulating this fabric, cutting it out properly, marking it, you know, like all that that takes extra time. The next one is a satin and it's the same type of texture and it feels exactly the same as the one I made my Shemaine's top from each to stitch, only this one has a beige background with black and it's like a hound's tooth, you can see there. I absolutely love this, it's so pretty and so drapey. It's just so beautiful, I can't wait to make this. <laughs> and what I've decided to make with this fabric is a new pattern by Wardrobe by Me, recently released, called the India Camisole. And this one particularly needs to be cut on the bias. It's got a really interesting detail on the neckline there and I would love to make that out of a contrast, make it black. Also make that detail in a cotton to facilitate the construction. <laughs> you know, I'm always looking for things that are practical that way. And for sure, I would need to adapt this pattern, maybe raise it up here on the arm side a little. Definitely, I would make a muslin for that to make sure I'm happy with the fit. I do have similar fabrics that are not nice like this, but they sort of feel the same that I could experiment with so that I'm extremely happy with, with everything because it's cut on the bias. I can just imagine this flowing over the body and just feeling amazing and silky and fresh, you know, for summer. I can't wait to make that. And the last one I have, to show you is super nice and colorful. Look at this. This is another crepe that is super soft, that is also non-transparent. Um, it's, it's very nice. On the other side, it looks a bit whiter than on the side with the print. The flow and the drape is beautiful. It feels really soft and, and cool to the skin. That's really important for me. I don't get hot with these, even if this is a polyester. I don't know, the way it's been made. And because I make flowy, you know, looser type garments, I don't really feel the heat as long as my arms are free. And that's why I'm always living in sleeveless. What I would like to make this is another Vivace Dolmen. I made two already during testing, but I made dresses. I made one in a knit fabric, a rayon spandex, and another in chiffon. This pattern um, does have two versions within the pattern, one for woven, one for knits, while keeping the same style and the same neckline. So I would like to make a top version, not a dress. I would like to make that overlapped V neckline with a contrast black and do a little hack there. I already have it in my head, but this would be the fabric for the body and oh, it would just be so nice. I can't wait to make that. If you're gonna take on a project with fabric that is gonna give you more work, I would suggest you make a pattern that you already know that fits you, that you've made a few times, that you're not guessing construction how does this go together with that you just got all that down so that is not part of the equation you just need to worry about actually sewing it nicely with these fabrics that tend to want to slide and like run away from you so that's just a little tip if you want to take on a project with these choose a pattern you already know how to make that you've made a few times already that you're happy with the fit and you're gonna have a nicer experience. <laughs> I really enjoy thinking up what patterns to pair with them to give you more practical content, not just show you the pretties, but also what you could think about pairing with in the similar styles maybe, not just these specific patterns, but you can get an idea of what could work. I think that is something that a lot of us that so struggle with, and I have had periods of my life where I did struggle with that and I made mistakes, but over time, I think I have this pattern pairing thing sort of sussed in my head and it's a really fun process that is sometimes very fast or very slow. It just depends on the day. Click on the like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this sewing channel where you can get a lot of practical tips for your own sewing at home. I will see you very, very soon again with more sewing. Bye.